Matt, 2-0, clean sheet, three points away from home. How does that feel? Yeah, look, fantastic. Um, I thought the boys defensively today were very good. Um, but as a group, not just the back four and a goalkeeper, who obviously have played well. Um, I just felt that was a very good away performance. We've had flashes of brilliance and scored two very, very good goals. Um, and I think then defensively, I thought they were good. I thought I've got credit to Burgess Hill. I thought they were a good team. Um, it's a tough place to come down here. The pitch, is, the pitch was great today. Um, tough conditions in the first half, hence the uh, the fluffy barnet. And um, yeah, I thought I, I'm, I'm delighted for the players because it was a different type of win to what we're probably expecting. Um, and I think it, it showcases another side to the group, and I'm delighted for them. Definitely a game of two halves. That first half was absolutely horrible, drenching down with rain. The second half, sort of like it took the wind out of the sails. But great goal in the first half, and also as well, credit to the keeper and uh, and to Burgess Hill. They hit the post, they hit the crossbar. What's the difference though when you go in at two 0 at half time? Obviously with a great goal like that, and then Dicko being the um, the poacher that he is. What's the difference? What's the sort of message that you give out at half time? Um, I still felt we needed to be better, so it's always it's always looking at things that we can improve on at half time. Um, it's very easy to pat us on the back at two, at two at two nil up, but we didn't do that on Wednesday. Um, we didn't do that away at 3-0 up at Littlehampton and we certainly didn't do it today. So there was areas, what we had to make sure is that we managed the conditions in the first 15 minutes of the second half because you weren't going to dribble it, you weren't going to play through midfield because it was getting stuck in the water. Um, and I felt that we did that. But like I say, I have to give credit to Burgess who I fought for large periods, they were a better team. But ultimately we have scored two goals and they haven't scored. So that's we, we lost to Ashford uh, two, three weeks ago in the league, 1-0, and we were by far the better side. So, like I say, I'm pleased the fact that we showed a different side to us today. But half-time, it was just a case of, yeah, just tactically just changing slightly how we would normally play due to the conditions. But in fairness, the, the pitch played well, and obviously by the end of it, it was back to sort of normal. First three points of the season here as well. So, obviously, we've had wins in the FA Cup. We've had wins midweek, and it obviously all gives you the momentum here. But... What's it like getting three points in the league and how do you now take the momentum? Yeah, look, we had to try and get three points today. Obviously, we've come away from home. It's a difficult place to come. Obviously, it's my old club, as you can hear from the supporters, um, with uh, some uh, friendly banter, shall we say. But um, yeah, look, I, I think it was vitally important for us this weekend to start putting some points on the board. We've done brilliant in the cup competitions and we go into sort of four cup games after after Monday. So it's really important now. If the boys want to kick on, they need to now look at themselves and make sure that we recover properly for Monday because Monday's going to be another tough game. I haven't seen any of the results because my phone was that wet. I couldn't look at it at half-time, so um, I don't know the other scores. But we'll look at that. Obviously, we've had Beckenham looked at today, so we'll do the, uh, do the information tomorrow and we move on to Monday. But it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough weekend for us. Monday's a massive day. It's a bank holiday. We want to get as many people down as possible uh, um, at the ground. And you just said it there, you know, it's, it's important to recovery. What other messages do you give the boys with, with such a short turnaround? Yeah, look, it's, it's, it's down to them. Like, at the end of the day, we know that we'll give the same level of information. We won't change that. We'll do the same level of detail. We'll do the same... Um, this, everything will be done no different to what we've done it today and the players have to do the same they have to apply themselves but I, I trust the players that are going to do that I think we'll come out on Monday Look, Beckenham have played today as well so we're both in the same position we've got a decent sized squad so we can look at whether we need to change one or two things but ultimately after winning 2-0 away from home people are going to want to play so um, we've like, we've bringing on the likes of Callum Peck and Gerson De Santos he's back now as well from injury and we've got one or two out still on loan that we can look at and see whether we need to fetch them back in but yeah look, I, I like to say it's, it's an important one to get get off the mark we're two games in with three points we need to move on to Monday and we need to go and make sure that we pick up more points on Monday heading into then four games where we play FA Cup FA Trophy Velocity Cup and uh, and the Kent Senior Cup so uh, yeah it's, it's a busy period but as I keep saying it's good for the new group it's important for a new group to have lots of games